Oh uh, man, we back in this bitch, man. Welcome back to Pickle Sausage Chronicles episode five. Uh, my co-host Deja to the right of me, <laughs> and, and my other co-host Marcus is right here. Let them know where you at, where you from. We go edit that shit later. <laughs> Hey, cause we ended last episode with niggas ain't them on time. We do this shit every week, but it's becoming more consistent. You know, people don't ever think you consistent, bro. Like until you do your own thing, like consistent. facts. That's when that's when people think you are yeah, overnight yeah, success. Yeah, bro, you on that, bro? You consistent and shit. All right, uh, we in this motherfucker, man. Episode five, man. Uh, you know, tackling more timeline topics and bullshit, man. Rapping about what we talked about. Uh, I was gonna talk about definitely on today's episode about uh, Super Bowls over with. Uh, congratulations, Sammy Walkers and the Kansas City Chiefs. That's a pretty dope ass win, my nigga. Like shit, hey, mm-hmm. four miles got another belt. That's that's dope. Like another another belt. That's dope. that was special for the city. Like that's dope, man. Special for Sammy. Like it's crazy. I remember like playing football with him in the project. Like he wasn't even on the field. Like at the time we got to play because he was just like look, and we didn't let him and brother on because we running the bigger kids running around type shit. But it was just dope, cause like, bro, I remember like playing Sandlot with the J and bro, like a whole Super Bowl champion. Like, it was crazy. Remember, he went number three overall when he got drafted. He finna get that money. The boy finna get that money. Uh, I think it's dope, man. He contributed, even though he didn't get a touchdown. He had uh ninety some yards, five, four or five catches. That's that's contributing. Mm-hmm. Especially the kind of game it was, for how the game turned out. Pat. It turned out like how everybody thought. Pat Mahomes gonna turn on that three minute magic, and that's why I wish Marcus here to talk some more. So he talking about Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes, but. Um, I think he's a great athlete on the field. I don't know the tangibles off the field be some other shit, but I like to do. He's pretty dope. I, I'm glad that uh, Sammy Walker won that shit. I'm glad that the Kansas City Chiefs won. Andy Reid, too. Because I remember last time he was in the Super Bowl, he had Javon Curse, another Fort Myers player. Mm-hmm. Javon Curse played for the Eagles mm-hmm. then. Some of y'all might not be old enough to remember that bitch. Miss, Miss Curse might be y'all bus driver, bitch. Y'all little young ass jits. She was swole when I was a jit. Well, Miss Curse be, boy, hey. Hey, boy, I remember one day, like, picture day was coming up. My mom to my yeah, my mom got me like this purple and green plaid. I like big ass Barney in the polo though. Big polo man, like he was like, why you a big shit? Nice little polo. I'm thinking I'm that nigga. But my mom don't understand, like, I heard my bus driver say one time, like, you can always smell a man cologne. He was like, yeah, so I tell my mom, like, man, mom, give me some more cologne. You know, cause I, my mom, man, he wasn't no man around the house. Man, I grew up in the 90s. He wasn't no man around no fucking world. Nigga was just on dope in right. the streets, nigga, in Sorry. fucking prison, nigga. Abandon their children like me. I don't take care of none of my kids that look like me. That's a fucking fact. I'm telling you not, man. Because most kids look like me like first five, six months. All kids are fat, red, and round. Mm-hmm. I'm fat, red, and round. Right? Most kids, most <laughs> all kids, most all kids look like So a bitch could trick me like out of some pebbles in a baby field for the first bitch tomorrow. <laughs> but after that baby come out, start like forming and shit. Like, bitch, you can't trick me no more. But G shit, so you know, when a man in my house, we had no cologne in around. I asked him, like, hey, mom, I need some cologne. My mom go to my, my grandma's house, get some of my granddad's cologne, bitch. I'm drenched in cologne. I'm spraying it, walking into it. Spraying it on my neck and chest. I, feel, I smell like a Haitian coming to school. I'm trying to impress my bus job. My bus job used to be Miss Curse. Listen, she one of the best looking of all women like that. She, nah, not by far. But Miss Curse, boy, nigga knock it down, but I'm telling you, hey, no disrespect to anybody. I don't know who auntie or mama this is. But I love Miss Curse. Listen, she helped a nigga get their confidence up as a J. I'm coming to the bus stop and picking on me. Ew, Mike, you stink. Mike, you smell like cat piss. Ew, Mike, you stink. I'm drenched in Jakar. Mind you, though, I stayed in the project. So from Ford and Franklin, I stayed there all the way back to Jeff Cotton. I'm sweating. Mm-hmm. I'm hot. I've been a fat, greasy J. I get to the bus stop. I smell like sweat, real musk, and Jakar sprayed on musk. Man, that Jakar was, boy, that Jakar. Boy, I'm telling you, boy, your car is what the fuck gonna hit you, boy. So I get on the bus. I'm thinking I'm the shit. I get my bus out of her. Hey, Miss Curtis, how you doing? We got a picture later today. Mm-hmm. Pat my afro. I had a little webby. Had a little I had the webby. I'll pat my little afro. I'm gonna get on that bitch. I'm thinking I'm the shit. So, I, you know, I get back up. Everybody cracking. When I got all that damn clothes on, bitch, smell like Haitian. Bitch, ride me. Talking about South by say all that spray. Like, I'm talking about. Bro, you know I was traumatized. I remember that shit to this day, bro. To this day, I remember that shit. So they fucking with me bad. I get off, get ready to get off the bus. And I'm like, hey, Miss Curtis, you like how me and Spill the Cologne? She like, yeah, I do. But not that cologne. That cologne, that just smell like 
<laughs> so they picking on me all day, so I stay, not that spray. Man, I'm mad as fuck, man. They fucking with me. I'm thinking on that nigga. So I go in the motherfucking bathroom. You know, I'm thinking make it better. I go get the wash towel, right. get it wet, do a brown paper napkin. Used to be in the dispenser thing. You get some of these bitches. You try to get it, wipe this shit off of them. This shit ain't make it no better. I'm talking about I was doused this shit. Like I took a bath in this thing in Cologne. I thought I was gonna be that nigga. I was only for picture that I thought you gonna be able to smell the picture. I thought the bitch was gonna see me I'm like, boy, that boy smell like he look nice, boy. I just I just knew it. Me personally out of the air, I just motherfucking knew it. So I'm sitting this motherfucker, I'm drenched in the cologne. I'm still thinking on that nigga. Man, I come home. Tell me why I done left the motherfucking bottle of cologne like on the damn faucet but linked over. It's closed, sealed up. Mm-hmm. But it all done leaked out. All the damn cologne done leaked out. Mind you, it's my granddad cologne. I ain't supposed to have cologne no motherfucker, but I was drenched in Jakar. I smell like 12 Hastings in a Suzuki right now. I think <laughs> nigga, you hear me? Man, my granddad done got word of this shit, man. My granddad done told my motherfucking ass from motherfucking Windsor Street all the way back to Canal. My granddad done beat my motherfucking ass. Back in the day, Jakar cost you like 35, 40. Mm. All right, Jakar wasn't no bullshit, but you hear me? That's what the fuck it was. Hey man, listen man, we, we tuned back in, man. My dog back in this bitch. We finally got a motherfucking co-host back in this bitch. <laughs> I don't know what day's at to the right of me, but she'll be in this motherfucker soon enough, man. Yeah. Never on time. Dog <laughs> say she doing hell. She say she be in this bitch, but she in this hole. Hey man, today's topic, man. We just talking shit, man. You know shooting shit like always, man. Pick a Sasha Chronicle. This episode five. Being consistent, staying with it. Um today episode, just a simple topic, man. I just had even shit for Facebook to give us a little feedback on mm-hmm. the ass and motherfucker. Who's your favorite singer, rapper, turned actor? I kept it at actor at first, but then I thought like Jennifer Lopez and like when she used to be on a Living Color, then she turned to be, she just had a Super Bowl halftime shit. Yeah. I was like, damn, so who, who would be like your top three? As in like. Rapper, singers, turned actors. Cube. Cube, who your top three? Cube, I'm gonna say Cube, Jamie Foxx. But now where you can see him a singer act, because I'm just telling you. He's him, a singer Jack, and But he always incorporated the piano and singing in his act since the beginning. That real. So that I mean, in actuality, you just saying, just in, in actuality, you just saying a crossover act. No, like, I'm saying who that we know, main, that we mainly knew them for one thing. And then they went on to acting. Like, well, we knew, we knew like Jamie Foxx as just a so comedian. So put Jamie Foxx in it then, bro, because, because even with the comedian shit, he was also doing like, he wasn't just strictly acting, he was also singing. Right. No, he, he started off acting first. He yeah. Off as okay, a well, we're going to start with your top three rapper singers turned actors. Then we're going to say oh, your rapper, top singers. three okay. actors turned singer rappers. Okay, okay. Rapper, rapper singers turned actors. I'm going to say Q, Ludacris. Damn, we weren't even talking about Luda. We talking See what I'm right saying? There. Luda, yeah, true. Luda, Luda, Luda yeah. did his thing. And, and we talking about who was solid with they rap mm-hmm. singing shit and had a solid acting. I'm gonna say Q, Ludacris, Tyrese. That's tough. Tyrese, Tyrese. Yeah, he was. He ain't mentioned who I was gonna mention. <laughs> and then all his top three way different than my top three. <laughs> my top three off top, I tell uh, motherfucker, I'm going Andre, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going Andre, I'm going LL, and I'm going DMX. Andre, even though he didn't act, act that much, Idle Wild is probably one of the best movies I've ever seen. I ain't, I ain't never watched Idle Wild. Man, you got it was, you got it was watch, underrated. You got to watch it, bro, especially the album that went with it. And how they oh, that them. was, what? I still got that to that this day. The man, they took the Morrison Black, historical black college band and, and gave them that shit was amazing. And I know he didn't have that much, but I know Andre is a dope ass actor. But if I was going to say Andre slash Childish Gambino. But he was known to be both at the same time. So when he was writing on SNL and the, uh, Parks and Rec and the other shit, he was already doing stand-up comedy and doing mixtapes. Right. See, I, ain't, I ain't know about Childish Gambino until till he, he started acting. What, he was in ATL or some shit like yeah, that? Yeah, but he created that show. Oh, That's Atlanta? He created yeah. That show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, he created like that, that show. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah, I ain't know about bro till I seen that shit. Yeah. Then I realized he was a rapper. Yeah, that. that's the thing. I no, know. he started as a, a comedian. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Stand-up yeah, comedy, right, bro? That. Look, watch his stand-up. He actually got a, he's <laughs> he's got great. a good He's got a good joke, bro, about going to Home Depot and being in foster care where his mom raised foster kids and being in Home Depot and the kid took a shit, thought the toilet flushed. And the Asian lady find it, and they get in there at work because Home Depot was next to Toys R Us. They was told they go to Toys R Us until they find that shit. <laughs> like he's got his stand up is funny, bro. His stand up is funny. His he, bro, he's hilarious. Like I ain't know the, half the shit that he wrote on like that. Uh, now nah, I don't know about the stand up. Now I don't know about it. It's a little. Yeah, I don't, it, it, it's a little punchline every it, now and then. Yeah, no, it was. It was a little. It wasn't no killer. Yeah, it wasn't killer. It wasn't. I 
tell you, because you I'm, bullshit. The man wrote on SNL. Jamie Foxx can stand up. I understand that, but I'm Jamie talking about Fox. him as a comedian okay. himself. It's stand up. Trash. I like, I like him. I don't know. You can't. You can't compare. You, to compared to you, Jamie you Fox. Gotta, you gotta watch it first. The, uh, you no, you got what I'm saying. saying. You can't compare the the, the, the work. Of yep, Jamie yes Foxx to a, a Childish Gambino. And where he's at today, yes Man, you can. Jamie Foxx been doing this shit since Childish and Gambino. Boy, what? Ray? People were shitting okay. at the home depot. What, Ray? Jamie Foxx was already many, doing how many, how many classic songs does he have as far as what? Unpredictable. The, Jamie Foxx? Yeah. But you got to think, we talking about him, him by himself. Okay, or, his music just, career not as I'm great. Talking, and yeah, he only got a few his hits. His music career does not compare with Childish Gambino. Redbone no. wipes out anything Jamie Foxx ever did. Redbone is a classic. That shit is hard. Oh, no. You've never heard Feel of it. Feel like Bone. Summer. You ain't never heard of it. I like a lot of this track. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Jamie Foxx got some classics. The man made a song last year sound like it came out 2000. And, I mean, it came out 1998. Like, you ain't Fox never heard Redbone. I will say, with music wise, Childish yeah, Cambino can hit him and with Jamie that. Jamie Foxx is right here with him. Bro. Yeah, he but with him. Jamie Foxx had a lot of flops. Oh, I will Fox, say that. So he better than Jamie Foxx on the music shit, but he ain't fucking with him with that. But with that comedy. Comedy. Oh, the acting. Uh, well, that's what it that's is. Where it is. Atlanta, he writes, produce, and acts in. Jamie Foxx didn't do that with Jamie Foxx. He had writers. That man full writes Atlanta by itself. That's why it takes two years to do it. That's like Aaron Magruder did with the um the Boondocks. For him to write, produce, and all, that takes a lot of work. And he also wrote on SNL for 10 years, and he wrote on Parks and Recreation. And, uh, Childish Gambino? Yes. How and is Donald Glover. Donald, Donald Glover. Glover. I don't know. I thought, I, what I, why I get Childish Gambino That's from? his rap name. The man That's his rap name. I oh, write okay. as Donald Glover. I perform as Childish Gambino, and I get fuck. The man get four checks when he say, get a, he get a check. I thought we were talking about the same nigga that's, here. He's the same yeah, nigga. You, yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say. And, and that, 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 that's my own business. And I switch Andre for Childish Gambino slash Donald Glover just because I like his whole body of work. But when it comes to going from going from just acting, because I my, my mentions were definitely like I had to always say DMX is in my top three because you people didn't expect that from DMX and from Cradle to the Grave yeah, right, and, right, right, right. and Romeo Must DMX. Die nobody expected that from DMX that, that right I now, just can't respect DMX bro why he was, and make it so bad he was on dope the whole time that's my How that's my that's that. my issue man that's DMX my, you get an extra credit on that. <laughs> Smoking dope, bro. No, he was smoking dope before. He was already on. He, he wasn't. Was on, he wasn't on yeah, dope, bro. Yeah, Swiss B's talking about. He was already on that dope. That nigga was already all on this dope. shit, bro. You been all the way on dope, dope bro. That, like, and that's why I say, like, that's why I give him even more credit. Like, I give him credit. Like, that's that's hard to do. And that's why I can't. That's it. Like him, um, Joe Budden. Joe Budden, I can't respect him either because you went, you went and smoke dope. You got all this shit. You that's started smoking thing. dope. But that I, was, I, don't, I don't respect nothing Joe Budden say behind behind I, the I, artist. I, 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 none I, of that I, shit. And when I mean, I love, I love Joe Budden. I watched this man for at least ten hours. Out of Joe Budden will discredit anybody, no matter what you did, no matter what your numbers doing, but, no matter what but, you what but, you but put out. Will, there. But he will give credit to the artist and what artist you give who he to. likes. Uh, I won't say mainly, that. mainly because northern you know, rappers. Him, him, and, him and Game have a known beef, and when Game <laughs> that last album came out, he had to give him credit. He was like, hey, it's, it's pretty dope. Mainly, can't say about it. mainly northern rappers. He would get utmost respect to but the Gang northern from the rappers. Game from the west. He loved us. I'm talking about uh, Joe Budden. Yeah. That's and then you just seen the one where the niggas just made him shut up in a little freestyle shit. Mm. You didn't see that? Who's that? Uh, Joe Budden made a bitch shut up. You didn't just see that one? It no, was recently. It, it was gotta, recently. It, it, that got to be old because I watched no, it. No, recently. Um, damn, I got my. What was the battle rap or something? Yeah, battle rap. Oh, that's old. That's when him and Hitman Hollow battled. That's years ago. Was yeah, that Hitman? Yeah. I don't yeah. think it was Hitman. That's his last one. Yeah. When he was, when, um, damn. That nigga who was talking about, yeah, nigga was talking about sleep on the your bed and he was beating on bitches and shit. And Joe Budden was like, yeah, nigga, just shut the fuck up. Yeah. That was when he was like, the crowd got to shut the fuck yeah. up. I ain't going to say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But like I said, even, even then, he was trolling it. Like I said, bro, I watch his podcast twice a week. And he be, he be He's a that. troll. That's yeah. what that's But what, he that's did that right there, the troll. But bro, I tell you, he be having two and a half hour podcast. And in the two and a half hours, 45 minutes, gems. And if it ain't from him, it's from that nigga Rory. And it's that from Maul. Maul's brother's the nigga that started. Uh, so you like, you like him to have the best podcast? Oh, he does. What I, about, I like what, about what about Nori? Yeah, he's better than Nori's. Like Nor- Nor- Norris is um <laughs> guest base. That's why Nor- for yeah, a Nor- fact. Norris is guest base. Joe Budden and not even opinionated. Now it's factual. He has the number one podcast. It, that's facts. My I just mind, don't like facts. it. It could be because I don't like it. Now that's why I tell you watch his podcast and then you be like, okay, because bro, I don't. Because when he it. on um the one shit um he started that shit everyday struggle everyday struggle yeah that was his yeah mm-hmm. that was his. That's what I mean. Nigga don't give him. But he know that no more because he left. They won't give him full ownership of that shit. And he can do what he want to do. 
They were doing a little slick shit. Mind you, bro, now you look at what you don't follow. I follow his IG. Him and Quavo was just at the um, Rock Nation, dapping it up. Oh, shit. yeah? They don't squash their little shit? They been squash that shit. It was nothing between them. Uh, he was basically saying, you shitting on my dope by saying Yachty booed him. Mm -hmm. But he was just saying, what did I tell Yachty besides, where's your paperwork? And if you watch that interview, that's all he said, know your paperwork. And that's what he's supposed to be, know his paperwork. That's all he did. But how, if you, I watch the podcast weekly, so I know how he come off. He talks passionate, aggressive about it. Like, he, you hear him talk about Justin Bieber type shit, like, Fuck you care about Justin, but he's telling you no, it's a bigger fight. But he's telling you, you all got your YouTube subscribe, go to sleep with it on low, don't put it on mute. Let that nigga, that's sick as fuck, man. He's telling you, be aware of that shit like that. That's why I like the shit that he say. That's why I fuck with bro. I, bro, I watch him at least eight to ten hours out the week. He drops a podcast twice a week. He's one of the main reasons I want to start this. Joe Rogan as well. I think personally, Joe Rogan has the best podcast, but it's not entertaining like Joe should be. Joe's gonna give you everything he's talking about and decipher it. Joe Rogan to bring on Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. Joe Budden ain't gonna have Elon Musk on, but he'll go to Nicki he got a He got a more broader. But the thing is, for Joe Budden to have the number one, because hip hop's the number one to listen to right now. Hip hop's the number one everything. Yeah. So, so when he, like, the thing that jumped him, bro, I believe the thing that really jumped him is when, um, when that shit with him and Drake was popping off. Him, Drake, and Meek, and that shit right there was popping off. That's what really popped. That's got his podcast going because nigga was wanting to see his side of the story, too. And I've been listening to him since about that time. And I'm a huge bro, I fuck with Drake. So and I was like, nah, this nigga, this nigga really, push up, push up, bro. I'm like, nah, this nigga really like on this nigga ass, bro. Like the man dropped like five, six hundred bars, the nigga didn't respond. Listen to that. Who's Joe Button? Yeah, Drake never respond. Listen to that shit, made me say, okay, the nigga ain't, cause when it come to music, he's nothing to be fucked with, like the nigga is. See the he, thing about it, I believe, I, I know for a fact Joe Button is a better rapper than Drake, but this when the, it comes to rapping, the rap this skills, the, this the yeah. internet era. Yeah. That's Drake why, followers ain't gonna let up. That's that's why. Who do you think won when you heard like that Drake and Pusha? Like his followers had no choice to be like, yeah, we ain't gonna oh, let up. Push it one, push it one without a doubt. But I watched the Drake interview and Drake was like, Pusha got a car, he got a flip. Mm -hmm. Meaning like, yes, yeah, it's his turn to roll over. Exactly. Yeah. Hearing that shit is like, okay, Drake kinda, okay, you know you could be hit. Cause with the Meek shit, I told you from the beginning, uh, PMC says love for the underground lives forever. So even though the mainstream don't fuck with me, the streets don't fuck with me. So long as I feed the streets with mm -hmm. me, and when it did, he kept living. I, th I think Meek won, in my opinion. Yeah. Meek was funny. Wait, wait, with who? With Drake. Drake ain't say nothing out of the, out of the, out of the way. It, the yeah, thing, but the impact. Yeah, the impact. His followers. It doesn't yeah. matter. That's, and that's kind of what I just said. Drake's followers are like Beyonce. You ain't finna say nothing bad about Beyonce. You but you gotta put you, but you gotta put that in. Got, you, even like, though that's not the not main good. critique as far as bar for bar, you still gotta put that in discussion because he still got his ass whooped. Like it was. It, I, like I, I, I said, it's that, all it's all about the followers, man. I, I, I'm a Meek fan. Like I've been. A I know. Meek for I know. The I'm a Meek fan too. And that's why. That's why I think like oh, the influence. If a nigga say your shit whack, it's whack. You feel me? And if Drake is the biggest thing, that's why I think when Pusha did that. There wasn't no other, it was undeniable. Mm -hmm. You couldn't, that nigga just went after man. Yeah. yeah, he went in on some insider shit he went, he went to, to the, the point where he, he said he wanted to punch him. And, and, and hearing <laughs> shit like that, it makes me think like, damn, boy. But Drake is smart. Drake is like, back to what we were talking about, people from actors turn rappers, rappers turn actors. This man was a former actor, always working on his craft because he loved rapping. Now that he's become a rapper, he's a student of the game. He learns to, knew to learn certain shit. So this how I'm gonna come at a bitch. So when he came out on that, look what he did when he was going on stage with the memes and shit, play to the people. Mm -hmm. he was play smart. The, the internet it. is the biggest shit right but now. But you gotta think, who runs the internet too? Your nieces and nephews, yeah, 12, kids, 13 year old kids, kids at home kids. telling you what's hot in the streets, what's mm -hmm. current. And none of that shit's actually what's hot and current. Mm -hmm. It's just that they're telling you it's so much down your timeline, you have no choice but to say that. Yeah. Here's somebody that y'all slip on. Y'all slip on some folks. Uh, I got Lady Gaga. Y'all sleep American on her. Horror Story, she killed. <sighs> she killed the American Kill Horror Killer. I give her that. See, I don't, I don't follow. I don't follow. Brother, for her to be known for strictly like singing, bro, and, and strictly like the shit she do, I watched American Horror Story like season four or five when she came on. Yeah. Killer. You wouldn't even know that she was there for Facts. acting. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even know like she was an actor, bro. I mean a singer. You wouldn't you would think she's pure acting. Man, I'm going to be honest. I, I can see Lady Gaga walk past me right now. I wouldn't know. Her. Yeah, she's very generic in the face. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. Yeah, but you, but, know what, but you know what, though? I'll probably recognize because she does have a... The, you can see she's vibing. The persona. You can see through the TV. Uh -huh. like, she's vibing. Like, mm -hmm. Certain, certain, like, I'm not even into white women. If you see some white women, like, I see why they, the, um, uh, Jennifer Gardner. Mm -hmm. I see the girl from, uh, Hunger Games. Mm -hmm. When she's, like, growing up and seeing her, I'm like, okay. 
I, I see, I can, I can see that. But I never seen like the um, the uh, who was Tommy Lee's girl, uh, Pamela Anderson. Yeah. I never understood why Pamela Anderson was like, even as a kid growing up, why she was a shit. Yeah. Cause she ain't man, crazy. she was bad back in the yeah. day. Come on, let's be honest. She was know, bad man. back in the day. Like I ain't never yeah, yeah. That could be, <laughs> that could be like the problem. Like white he looked like white bitches. I ain't never been the type to be attracted by no by no white girl. And it's nothing against white bitches. I knocked down a couple of white bitches. But it's just like I ain't never looked at no damn white, white ass black. Somebody somebody asked me the other day, like somebody was like, You really don't date white girls? And my answer was, I don't know. I've never been in a situation where white girls was around me. Everywhere yeah. I go, it's black people. You know so, so you think, okay, if Miss Davis would have had y'all, bro, don't be mean, no disrespect by calling your mom Miss Davis. It's great, bro. That's you great. You know, that's right. what I know at, <laughs> in that time. I know as Miss Davis uh, from that time. Like, you feel me? That's respect. But, bro, I've known his mom. I've known his whole Yeah, world. that's respect. <laughs> you still respect her, even when she on camera. Uh, you respect but, her. But just imagine she grew and had y'all in the stairwell somewhere. Yeah, it's black folks around. You might have seen a black girl here and there, but like you say, it's more white girls mm-hmm. around. So when you see them, you're going to be like, okay, bro, it's a white girl. Okay, she, she, that's what I'm used to seeing. Yeah, that's you'll get used to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. So if a white girl it, around, you'll realize how to finesse, you know, okay. you know how to get a man. I, just, I don't know, bro. I just, it's just something about a, a black woman. It's somebody. It's somebody. I ain't going to lie about it. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say it's that. Something. You can put a pair of ass cheeks white and a pair of ass cheeks black next to each other. And it's something about them black cheeks. It's just something about them black cheeks. It's just something about them black cheeks. I don't know if it's the attitude, the, the you what, hear me? It's the, the pump it up that I smell, bitch, when I'm <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, it might be anything. I don't know what it is, bro, but I just, hey, I just can't bro, go no other way. You know what, though, bro? Even, even growing up in like those kind of neighborhoods, bro, and seeing certain women be like, like if you're used to seeing the white girl who plays volleyball, well, I've seen mm-hmm. them like, them. <sighs> yeah. Now that's a different kind of. Thing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Look, yeah. look My thing is right. Boom. That, that little white girl you say was thick, right? The little she, volleyball. She's a thick little white girl. But the thing is, if you put a black girl in that same body, same one. she's just a normal yeah. black girl. Yeah. That's why I don't understand how niggas. Why does be it like, look so amazing when she's doing? I don't understand how niggas. Oh, she a thick, deep, thick for Because nah, it's because it's almost like rare. Because usually nah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it's still, bad, it, yeah, bro. Yeah, I can bad, find yeah. you a lot of flat asses. <laughs> yeah. But but you know what? Though, man, it's somebody. You know you know it's even a bigger turn for a black female. We see black female don't bathe in makeup. It ain't a yeah, I think that's what it is. It's the, it's the natural hair. shit. It's the natural shit. Cause I don't, I hate makeup. I, hate I don't makeup. know. They switching over now. I don't like makeup. Boy, yeah, I don't like them. A lot of them going. They starting to throw it. Yeah. Yeah. Like cut the hole. Eyelashes, <laughs> eyelashes with a bitch be blanking them shit. You feel me? <laughs> bitch be looking like a peacock. Oh, I don't, I don't like, I don't I like that shit, bro. I like, I like. I don't want to question how you look up under that shit. Man, I don't want to wake up with a new bitch tomorrow morning. Exactly. Bumps I don't want all to, on your shit. You hear me? I don't want to wake up with a new bitch tomorrow morning. I don't want to know, no, no. I gotta no, like no. you. I got not, yeah. not what I, who I think you is. You and then, and then that's the thing because, okay, <laughs> get <a> late, <laughs> get married to an avatar. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> now look, that's, that's now that's a level of catfishing that I tell people. All time. That's definitely catfishing. You can't, you can't, even though you look just how you look on your profile picture. Fact. You don't look like that at home. Definitely. You look like that in your profile picture. But you don't look like that at home. I'm telling you, boy. Now that's a difference. Cause you can still look like, oh, I look like me. Yeah, because you always wear your lashes and weird. But not at home, you look nothing like that. Mm-mm. You look like Bill like, Romanowski. I am face. Jaheem, nigga. Hey, you talking about? Be like Bill they Romanowski. They say I look like face. Jaheem. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jaheem let that woman. Boy, that what they just said. Boy. You better put that woman first. <laughs> boy, I just thought about it. Jaheem. I just thought about it. <laughs> Jahi a little bad right now. That boy like he going off. Oh, that he run. He going through it. Think, bro, he on that dope. <laughs> he got oh, no, he something. He like pure plant based and shit like that. So Why he look like that though? Uh, I don't know. That shit. Boy, you better get some meat. Yeah. Throw some. Look at D'Angelo. That nigga built like me right now. <laughs> D'Angelo husky than a bitch right now. But that's a husky motherfucker. What? Listen, boy, I ain't gonna bullshit. Oh, oh, oh yeah, y'all, y'all. Avant, avant, avant uh, hey, Oh, he man. was just down here not too long oh, yeah. ago. Yeah. Listen, man, let us know, man. Who y'all, who's y'all top three? Y'all forgot about uh, actors, RZA. Singers turn actors, RZA, man. Yeah, RZA, who's RZA, y'all top three? RZA. RZA, RZA, RZA definitely got some classics. Yeah. Himself. Nigga done taught martial arts. I, t- I, I think, I, when, when, I th- when I still, when I think, uh, back to what you're when I think about like top three, I tell um, Mo, most deaf. I think most deaf is pretty common. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like yeah, that. Shit like that. Oh, uh, Method Man. Method Man. Oh, Un- underrated. Method underrated. Method man. Underrated. Method man. 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 Method man.
Method Man, Method Man and Red Man. Man. Both yeah, of them boys I'm, I'm underrated. All the way to the point where I remember Method Man acting in the uh, Alicia Keys video. He just did good, just mm -hmm. acting, just getting cops selling dope. Damn good. Like that right there was damn good. But it's a lot of motherfuckers who I told motherfuckers earlier like Sticky Fingers. The dude, he be in a lot of yeah, good movies. He definitely in a lot of good movies. But he be in some. He be on that gigging. Uh -huh. I say what you want, bro. <laughs> he be in gigging. some shit. He be on that. He been seeing cigars that shit, one movie. Y'all ain't say Fifty Cent either. That, but that's why I said like. Ah, he a hit and miss with me. I'm sorry. You don't, you don't he a hit and miss with me. Richard was probably one of his he can just play a hook. He can play a gangster. The, the, the movie and the album. Nigga. And and um <laughs> and that what's that um what's the one movie deal with uh with, with, with Robert De Niro? That movie was good. What he did with Robert De Niro, now that was good. Like he's good at playing a, a gangster. Like in Den of Thieves, yeah. that was pretty lit. That, that, and, and that's why I said Q. Power. Q can play anything. Yeah, you're right, because Q, Q go from playing Triple X one summer to the next summer. Daddy, playing, whatever the hell. Your there, family yeah. man. Yeah, playing Are We There yet. Yeah. That nigga yeah. Q, versatile, man. That nigga yeah. can play anything. Nigga and then he got a lot of cult classic yeah. up under his He's shit. doing stunts and shit, man. All type of shit. Q, I think, I, I think Q number one, though. I don't think nobody can fuck with Q. To be and honest. I think he might be number Hold two. on. Hold on now. Even though he, he passed a little early, you got Tupac. Tupac was. Tupac. 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 At the first, though, wasn't but, he? Yeah, but well, he went to school at Juilliard. Yeah, but, he just went but, to but school. But we can but. say he probably rapped for because he's a yeah. poet and shit. Yeah. I don't know, but that's why I say, like, okay, we, we would have to say, like, multiple. Well, that's what jumped his career. We got to yeah. say it like that. Uh, what jumped his career was music. I, I know Pac is... Recipes pop, but I'm gonna say, facts, it, facts. brother, the man is that's what you call legendary overacting. He overacted in every role. Thank you, Juice. He's mm -hmm. the ultimate nigga. Definitely. You got, you got <laughs> Wood Harris who showed you how great <laughs> acting was. He was older. <laughs> Wood Harris has been 17 for 30 years now. For a fact. Because he remember the Titans. Ace, Ace remember the Titans. <laughs> Yo, he played all young niggas. Yo, if I was in the industry right now, I'd be playing a lot of young niggas. <laughs> Wood, Wood, Harris, Wood Harris is that nigga, man. I tell you, like, that's that's why it showed me I, when I watched the Butter Rim. I'm like, fuck, too, yeah. bro, you weren't that good. Mm -hmm. You were overacting, mm -hmm. right? He was too gangster and too <laughs> good because you never he's never been that. But he was lit in Juice yeah. though. He that, was good in Juice, Juice was that nigga. Was but even dude. then he was overacting. Mm -hmm. Look at the nigga from um 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 from Nino Brown. Look at the turn the House of Pain nigga, the red nigga. Oh um um um. Turn the House of Pain. Damn, I can't think of remember, the red nigga. Yeah. Yeah, remember. He was in Juice, the red nigga. He was in um. He was in uh uh. He was in uh uh. uh damn, what the fuck was that? Uh. You talking about uh? The red nigga. Christopher that, Williams. No, the red. Remember, he ended up being in the Tyler Perry House of Pain or some shit as the firefighter nigga. Yeah, he the um. And I can't think of what brand name he, he was. He was right also now. on the shit with Wesley Snipes. He was also he, on that yeah, shit. He was definitely. Well, I'm drawing a blank. He yeah, he's a nigga that went to niggas at your five dollar ass. Yeah, I made change. Exactly. Like, the red nigga. Uh -huh. He was in. Yeah, he was in. Yeah, that was Chris Williams. That's him. That's his name? Yeah. Oh, See, I, don't even know I was like, I, I, I just know him as a nigga from Juicy. <laughs> Cause he was a he was a singer too, but he wasn't. Eh, his music yeah. wasn't all that he great, but his acting was. Yeah. Yeah. But even then, bro, you know who, who, was the, who was that nigga that played the shark on motherfucking Barbershop too? The shark. The, the shark. nigga that long cued the money. The black nigga. Oh, you talk about um Colin Powell. Is this, that's what yes, Clinton, Clinton Powell, Colin Powell, something. Yeah, like, Colin Powell might be the dude for the, uh, the former. State yeah, Colin Powell. Clinton Powell. <laughs> yeah. Clinton yeah, Powell. Colin Powell. This is like a bro. Like a, bro, <laughs> listen, man. He's <laughs> in the White House and some shit. <laughs> bro, listen. Clinton Powell, Colin Powell. You just <laughs> threw every name out of there. Hey, listen. If, 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 that nigga, that nigga, about hood that nigga always the bad guy. Bro, listen. Facts. He's always in the hood. Man. Every <laughs> time. Always, listen, bro. He played like, always the hood always bad guy, guy every okay, fucking you, time. Reason, I would say Beyonce, but she only played in what? Uh, Dream Girls and Cadillac Records. And um, fight she can play fight, fight, another fight. act. She's playing a singer. A singer yeah. 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 If, she, if she ain't a singer, then she did. She ain't singing in her shit. That, that's did. why I want to see in some other shit. That's why I want. That's why I see in some other shit. Yeah. I want to see her like in some standalone because that that Cadillac Records is probably one of my top twenty movies of all time. Just because. I ain't gonna lie, bro. A movie that you watch so much ends up becoming like your favorite movie. Mm -hmm. Like Life is my favorite movie because I watched oh, it. Oh, so classic! Much. I've watched it so much, but I've also watched that movie with um Leonardo DiCaprio and Robert De Niro, the fucking Departed. That's one of my. I favorite still haven't movies seen all that. Time. When one nigga worked for the mafia with mm -hmm. his daddy, and the other one works for the cops, and bro, Jack right there. Anything Robert De Niro in is probably one of my favorite movies, bro. Anything Robert, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro, De Niro 
And when and I see him, Steven Seagal, Steven Seagal, all even in Steven Seagal, but Steven Seagal been a lot of bullshit <laughs> movie. <laughs> Steven Seagal do been a lot of low budget ass shit. He just can't work. Hey, <laughs> he got some shit going on. Hey, Steven Seagal had me like I could beat a nigga up like this. <laughs> I used to think I could hit a nigga with one of these shits right here. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm right in the middle of a nigga. Nah, trash. I choked because this nigga said Steven Seagal. Oh my god. Steven Seagal. Hey, that nigga bro. trash. Come yeah, on now. Seagal, bro. I'll give him. I'll give him the one where he had Screwface in it. Um, wh- which one is that? Time of death or something? I can't remember hey, what. Steven, Steven Seagal is the one that played his face off, ain't it? With Nicholas Cage. No, no. That's, that's uh, John Travolta. John Travolta. That's yeah, the one that's the one he's about. That's the one he's about. He in a lot of shit. Dude, I know my TV shit, boy. I was on it. John Travolta. I was on the TV. That's just like, and um, you can't sleep on Keanu Reeves either. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Bro, you know what, though, man? Only Keanu reason, Reeves is a legend. Listen, fuck Keanu Reeves. And I what? Fuck. Fuck you know what though? I John knew, Wick? Hey, I never knew the one nigga was one Keanu Reeves though. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Klein. The other nigga that looks just like motherfucking um, looks just like your boy. His name Klein, man. He's an actor, bro. He looks like Keanu Reeves. He looks just like Keanu Reeves. It's another actor who looks just like Keanu Reeves. What the fuck is his name, bro? I'm drawing blank. Bro, what's the what's the actor? That I just like know the Keanu main Reeves, actors, man. dude. Oh, no, bro, it's the actor. That look, it's the actor that look like Keanu Reeves, man. He sound like a B act, B level actor. No, he actually be sound trash. <laughs> sound <laughs> trash. <laughs> if I don't know him. He don't <laughs> that nigga playing back up. <laughs> you see his shit down towards the end of the credits at the end of the movie. We don't know that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he on the last. He on the we end of the. His autograph when I see him. Keep on walking past his ass. <laughs> I probably walk past him twice. I'm gonna tell you with, with the hood movies though. You can't sleep on uh, what's what's Panky's real name. Oh, Friday? Yeah. What's uh, his real name? Ah, uh, fuck. That nigga. All that's him. Real name, that's, that's Clifton Powell. Colin, Colin, Colin Powell. That's Clifton that Powell. Ain't who, that ain't who loaned it on, what's McCauley, the money? No, nah, that's a different nigga. I'm trying to think. Uh, that's Clifton, Colin, whatever the fuck his name is. Pinky, I'm talking about Pinky. That nigga's in every hood movie down there. Low budget, mainstream, whatever. That nigga's in every him and goddamn John Witherspoon. Whatever his pop's name is. John Witherspoon, yeah, Pop, yeah, that nigga in every movie. <laughs> that nigga don't give a fuck. He just want his money. All right, this the nigga right here. This nigga look just like Keanu Reeves. His name Chris Klein. Both of them look alike. Hey, that mother, they do look kind of. That's Chris Klein. Like too, like look, that's shit. Chris Klein. He, that might be, he might be a double. No, he's an actor. He be in movies. <laughs> yeah, he be he be in movies. He taking he taking my dog script. Mm-hmm. He gotta he gotta knock him out, Keanu. He taking your. He script. little trash. <laughs> he love no budget this far. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like Keanu before the money. <laughs> <laughs> but look though, okay, so you don't remember American Pie? That's probably yeah. her. That's him in American Pie. That damn show, Lee. Yeah, but Lee. still, Lee. he was still trash. He wasn't playing that big of a level. Yeah, so he played like jocks and shit in movies. Yeah. yeah he, like he was in the he background. Oh, oh she, she come into it as a new yeah. character every, every day. Every time you look different. Every time you come in and look different. Next time, she going to have a... She come in looking like, what's Will White name? A young Jada before you got some money. Definitely. You definitely look like Jada today. Last week it was like right hard. before she got on the bus oh, to, yeah, you know, that. set it off. <laughs> she done left her friend to die. I'm in the bond, Nate. <laughs> I need my money. I need my money. I need my money. I need my money. Yo, <laughs> I'm fucking a goof, dog. Welcome, uh, ladies, to the podcast. Everybody, she's finally in this motherfucker. Okay, that's his name. You said a Clifton Powell. Clifton Powell. Yeah. I told you. This nigga said so Colin Powell. Look, man, see, look, Keanu, Keanu Reeves, that nigga, man. That Keanu, was talking man. About. Okay, my only gripe with him, bro, is they let G Baby die. In uh, in uh, <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait, yeah, I was looking he down. Jordan, he told about to be Jordan home. Wait, what movie were we talking and about? G Baby had to walk home. Remember the fuck nigga was shooting out? Right, right, so you got a problem with him now. Wait, <laughs> what movie? John what movie? Wick would have did that. John Wick would have went. I don't like, bro, John Wick's a fake. He ain't went back to that hood yet. And right. And killed them niggas that killed G Baby. Michael B. Jordan's the worst actor in the world. That's and I just watched that movie. 
Bro, oh, cool. and my yeah, only reason with that, it. I tell people all the time. He bro, was good in Black Panther now. No, he let, let him. Only reason what? why he, he looked good in Black Panther. He only had three lines. He talked in a museum. I would rather die in the, in the sea. That's all we need, baby. Exactly. It's not a good actor. Less is more. Sometimes less is more. Yeah. Okay. He in the good Man, actor. some of the most I iconic he lines. He good in Black Panther, but yeah. I, I know he's he not a good yeah. actor. Yo, and you you talking about you talking Creed about small lines. He didn't get his ass more good. <laughs> he couldn't die at Fruitville Station good. <laughs> Fruitville Station, the classic though. You yeah. He, he couldn't even die good. When nigga <laughs> die sitting up? You die sitting up in front of your people? Oh, he died in front of my people. Pull pull pull, pull your mic in front of you. Pull your mic in front of you. So yeah, so we can hear you. Soft voice having ass. <laughs> Okay, well, I talked today was your top five singer, rappers, turned actor, or top actor, turned singer, rapper. You know how to do what? I'm trying to like level it. All you gotta do is, short, you, you know? gotta just scoot up, just scoot up. Just scoot up. I'm yeah. still short. Yeah. I gotta be like this. We gotta get your ass a booster seat. <laughs> like, like they give no, the kids at the restaurant. Gonna go we, gonna, we gonna get your baby yeah. ass a booster yeah. seat. You were yeah. You were <laughs> 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 Who do you think of your top, like, growing up, even like just seeing through your childhood and just growing up to now, who do you think has been the best transition of actors, singers? I mean, actors turned singer, rappers, or rappers, singers turned actors? Like, when Drake used to act, like, he came up from the grass and type shit. Now that he's grown up. I don't even think he was a good. Who are your top three? Who would you say your top three? Um, I don't know. You don't even know who, who you like. Rap. Who you like? Who like Queen Latifah used to rap, and she's. I don't know who do both. You know, like I don't really know. Everybody do that. both. Not everybody. Do well, both. That's just like uh, what that movie was with uh, the Wayne Brothers, and he was like. You know we are extinct because all the rappers are getting all the good oh, acting yeah, jobs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to think of, I told him, bro, LL Cool J is one of my top because when he played God in, in uh, Into Deep, man, LL Cool J, bro, listen, bro. Uh, I, he definitely, well, Brandy, he definitely played God. Brandy, I like her. We didn't even say Brandy. nothing about Brandy. But you know, only, she's a, she's she's a what did Brandy play in? She typecast. She can play one character. I'm sorry. She, she played does. one character. Her, her catalog isn't long enough. Yeah. And that's what she I'm played saying. a one she character, a, a teenage girl. For, yeah, she did. That bitch was on it was a long, yeah. it was a few seasons. She was on what? It was a Moe lot of seasons. Of years. Yeah, that shit was like four by years. Yeah. That shit was like four but, by years. But I'm saying, that's the, only, but that's the only character she could play is a teenage yeah. girl. That's she about it. She did a lot of stuff She did a Cinderella story. Come on. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Come on. Like, right. Teenage girl. Yeah. I think the best person that used to do one to the other, Jennifer Lopez, has got to be top. She just did the Super Bowl. She, oh, yeah. Jennifer Lopez has got to be top. Bro. Like, yeah, she started on uh, Living Color. In, in Living Color. Made yeah. It, yeah. Made in old Girl, too. I didn't know Old Girl from um, White Man Can't Jump. The white. The, 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 the oh, show. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The back of the I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Man, I yeah. seen that. Stay down now, <laughs> tell me, do you really want Man, listen, bro. It me <laughs> what up? Well, that's a classic. Don't look at me weird. You know, I didn't know about all. She's so vibrant, spontaneous. You had to just let her go. Mm-hmm. He said, so I had to be the stiff character. And um, uh, uh, bro was supposed to be the stiff character. Uh, Wesley Snipes was supposed uh-huh. to be the stiff character. Wesley Snipes ended up being the goofy character. Yeah. And he said, just because she made it that. And he's like, they ad lib. I'm like, bro. Well, that, like, I think it was the accent what made yeah, it. Yeah, and how it she was talk. Accent. It was like, because she sounded like the girl from the fucking Bronx, the mm-hmm. Dominican shit. I was like, damn, you never really think about that going to write a movie. Are you going to be this? You're going to be that. They said, uh, Mark Wahlberg said that same shit. Uh, you ever seen the other guys? Mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg yeah. Uh-huh. movie? Yeah. Bro, that that's has a lit movie. One of the funniest movies ever. <clears throat> lit. Because Mark Wahlberg is being so, so serious and Will Ferrell is being the goofiest. Yeah. Uh-huh. Especially that scene when he came out with his wife having dinner. He said, now nah, come outside, I need to talk to you. And they said, what's going on? That's your wife. <laughs> is, she, is she being held at gunpoint? <laughs> like, it was funny. It's come on, honey, with the roads are almost done. He's like, she baked you fresh rolls. I'm telling you, super bad. Like that, just knowing that shit, like people had in mind they were gonna write, they were gonna write a movie of like certain stiff characters and shit. But I think even like when when they did when they put DMX in like um like like uh Romeo must die, they didn't probably didn't think DMX was gonna be that intense on scene to where him and Blue Jet Lee had a fight scene. Mm. Remember, we talking about rockhead ass DMX, we talking about dope head DMX, man. Mm. This is the nigga that they had, you know, saying fuck it, he's gonna have an actual scene with Aaliyah. So do we even, because Aaliyah, um, I didn't know this, that Queen of the Damned, they used her brother for the rest of that movie. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that shit at all, yeah. Because she yeah. died, she died yeah. while they was, while they was yeah. making it. 
and they had uh, Queen of the Damn Two coming. They had all I did not know that. So we, I even got, I forgot about Aaliyah, but she ain't got a catalog long. Uh, it ain't long enough. Nah, she got what two, two, cents? three million. Well, we I said, said fifty. Yeah. Like he's not the one of the better actors when it comes to acting. He's a good actor. He can play a gangster, just like Moesha. He played one character. And I was gonna say Ice T, but Ice T didn't always pay the call. Yeah, yeah, he plays what he don't like. Oh, Ice. I see. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. All the time yeah, he yeah. But he didn't play uh what that movie was, uh that movie when they were finding the gold or some shit like that. It's an old ass movie with with, with Debo, him and uh and uh, I mean he did do good in Do Jack City when he yeah, Well, he oh yeah, he was a cop, oh. my bad. What ever happened <laughs> to T Bone? T Bone? Who the hell is T Bone? Well y'all saying Ice T, Ice T, <laughs> T Bone. It ain't no T Bone. T Bone from um from T L C Oh, my bad. <laughs> it's the, it's my the bad. T Bone watching this right now. That me. Y'all got T Bone. Y'all got my man. Shout out T Bone, man. T Bone won't know what that T stand for. Training Look. mode. But hey, hey, T Bone it is, boy. Boy, motherfucking naked. But I'm telling you, motherfucker, like, some of my top. I know um, bro said Ludacris earlier. Ludacris. You can't, yeah, you can't Ludacris is one of the top. Cause even though it's that fast and furious shit, but the man's been in what? Five of them, six of them? Um, they didn't stop making them bitches. I ain't gonna lie, the best, the best part he ever played was when he was skinny film. The hustle and flow. Oh, yeah. Man, ain't nobody trying to hear this shit, man. <laughs> but, but, but Ludacris, Ludacris, Ludacris a, a, a character, though. You ever, you ever yeah. heard, heard Brock yeah. on the radio before yeah. he was even yeah. uh, big? He been a character. Yeah. That's how he got on, like, doing, like, little skits on the radio and shit, like, like that rapping and like, shit, uh, like, goofy uh, shit. Lover, Lover, Lover. Lover, His name is Lover, Lover. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Even, but even, even like that, when I be seeing some of these motherfuckers, I be like, man, you know what, boy, that's that bad, because when they get to acting, they don't do no more motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Niggas stop rapping. You do one writing. movie. 50 why? Cent, 50 Cent stop writing raps when you the show. Yeah, me, why? Bro. Why? That check. Yeah. yeah. I got I to gotta put all this work in, in the studio, pay all these extra people, right. when these folks going to pay me just for me to show up and do what I do. I ain't got to invest in You get to nothing. sit in the trailer, sit play the trailer, video live, game. Me, you run it down. I come out and do my little thing. Now he don't kill himself off the show. You don't need to go show up. That's what I'm saying. It be on set. That's why that shit fits for me because I want to get in the acting world. I'm I'm an in house nigga, but I I stay in the house. I don't fucking go outside. <laughs> Fuck out of here. But the most motherfuckers cool in here. here. Most people that make that transition, they say fuck it. The money's here. Yeah, I'm the money, the money is yeah. definitely there. I can yeah. stay in a trailer for hours. Man. Yeah, give me some weed, make, throw a little make, game in there. I can make ten mil off a movie. <laughs> y'all call me when y'all ready. What? Call me when y'all want. I gotta come out just for a couple hours. And talk. Gonna, when you do a movie, a good movie, say say you check ten mil. You feel right. Me? You ain't gotta pay nobody. Right. That's your money. That's your money. If you make 10 mil rapping, you gotta pay the producer. That's why they you say gotta, they say what they want by all Master P with that I got to hook up too. Yeah. That's, that's all him. That's all P money. Master Peter, Master Peter, Master that's Peter. I'm, Peter that's why I'm that's all that's all that's what I'm doing. Yeah, Master that's, Peter that's, that's all P money. So when people say, oh man, Master P stupid, they, that shit went straight to DVD. He got his check though. And it was a hood classic. That shit was funny. Yeah, hey. It's on Netflix too, ain't it? Man, I, I think it's on you think Netflix. Bitch ain't streaming that shit. Yeah, right. son, you that shit was classic. You, know, you gonna go through and be like, I got the hook up too. I gotta watch this. Yeah. Even if you don't watch it and say, even if you watch it and say, man, that shit was trash. You yeah, watch you watched it. it. I don't watch that bitch like two. I, two nah, that shit was funny. I think it was. I got a cellular phone. How High Two was pretty funny. Yeah, I think that shit's straight. I don't watch it like two. What How High Two? I thought it was straight because it ain't got nothing to do with the first one. That's yeah. how I like yeah, it. Yeah, I know. It ain't but like it's just except for all the his name, Baby Powder. That's it. Yeah, baby yeah. Powder. He, he, when they had Baby Powder, <laughs> he was in the second one too. Yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, same, same. Mike Epps. It's yeah, the only Epps. person that's in the in the same. That nigga said, "I come from a long line of being pimps. <laughs> you come from a long line. <laughs> you come from a long line of motherfucking secondary pimps. Your mama was a secondary pimp." Her mom and her daddy and daddy. I said, God damn, nigga said the whole tree <laughs> But even even with um Mike, even for uh, we said earlier, like Ice Cube, if we went for Ice Cube, we would probably want to see Mike. We yeah. might have seen him, we probably wouldn't have seen him like Mike that. Up. Yeah, because Day Day forever like his character. Yeah, Day Day, he Day Day forever. Yeah, he and he said that in one of his stand ups yeah. too. He like, everywhere I go, they call me Day Day. No, nah, no, nigga, my dad, bye. That shit was funny. That would say, yeah, T-Mo, he was saying, Let me show y'all a, a one that's a sleeper that y'all that did, that y'all didn't know that was a singer turned actor, Jackie Chan. Jackie, what did Jackie Chan Yo. Song? Gave him style? No, nah, he <laughs> used to sing, sing over in China. Yo, he was. And then he went. 
Nah, nah, nah. I ain't never heard no shit Jackie Chan. Fans. Nah, I didn't say it was, was big over here. First? Yeah, was he, he a was single a, first? Or was yeah, he, actor first? he was a single first. Well, and I then, think um, what is it? Eddie Murphy was was a single first too, wasn't he? Yeah, Eddie Murphy, real singer. Did he? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I, I always Eddie knew Murphy him to a, sing. A, 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 a CD, like a singer. No, no, no. I do know he did. I, yeah, I, I thought that was later though. Too. I think he was a singer first. That's how he got on. Then you feel what I'm saying? He was funny as shit, so might as well. Hmm. So I, but yeah, that shit, was so was far up. back. I don't yeah. even remember. Yeah. That. I, don't, I don't think nobody. I don't think nobody doing it better than Cube though. Cube. Catalog wise. Money wise, who, who what he earned from it? Cause Cube, all shit, Cube shit, Cube vision. Facts, facts. All his shit. Everything was written in house. Everything he is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. From starting from what it was, um, Q- Boys Q- in the Hood, Friday, all that shit. Boys mm-hmm. in the Hood was set him off to give him that. Oh, I, I can do this shit here for Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? That when he went to write oh, Friday, God, easier shit, check. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh, what's the name? Created that show. I mean, created that movie. Oh, um, fuck. Was he the one that did Snowfall? Fuck. Ooh, the dude that made Boys in the Hood. What? John Singleton. John Singleton, yeah. John Singleton, yeah. He had that last shit. Oh, yeah, I didn't even know that. Yep. That's why. Yeah, um, yeah. Snowfall was originally supposed to come on like a couple weeks ago. They had mm-hmm. that stuff for a while. But they were still getting the writing shit out. Oh, he was doing mm-hmm. Snowfall, too? Yep. He was doing Snowfall. He did that, yeah. yeah. He, he, did did of, he did a lot of hood movies. He yeah. Did, he did a wide. Yeah. He yep. gave, yeah, that's why he gave a lot of people like, well, okay, what do you rate? You think Snoop Dogg is one of like the best people that rap turn act? Don't do that. <laughs> you Snoop was all right. <laughs> you think Snoop was probably one of Because he did baby one shit like that, but I never forget like, um. Bone? When he was bone. Bone. Bro. I just scared of that. But they say, 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 that was just Snoop being Snoop type. I used, to, I used to be scared of bones, and I used to be scared of um vampire in Brooklyn. I, I knew Vampire as a comedy. Vampire. I, I seen it. No, I was. I didn't like I was, it. When that shit, I was probably yeah, like, what? Was what made you not like the baby boy? I ain't watching that shit. I like how he acted. Like, he was. Hey, somebody like, ever acted? Respect. You ever seen somebody act in a movie and make you not like him in real life? Mm. Well, no, I, I promise you. Oh, um, my dad. Well, no, you're right. It has, but then I. Michael B. Jordan, you are one. They pretty dope. The the nigga who you were talking about, um. Michael B. Jordan. Nah, the nigga from um Michael the barber shop that fronted him the money. Oh, 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 uh, damn, what's the nigga that fronted, fronted him the money, man? I can't, because he's been in every hood. Yeah, well, I do not shop, like, bro. bro. I do okay, not like, bro. Dude, well, Ice T was selling his, his dad at the barber shop. The dude gave him the money. He was like, you better have money by now. The black yeah, dude. Yeah. He's in every hood. He movie. played it, didn't he? Remember, he was in um, Dead Presidents when the nigga came home. When the nigga came home, he had the nigga bitch in the car and the groceries. Yeah, he was a dead nigga. Man, watch that nigga. Every hood. That nigga played it. That nigga played it every. Did he play ATL? ATL, he was the daddy. He was new, new daddy in ATL. He was a. Yeah, he was. What's his name? I'm looking at the golf course and shit. He was on the golf course and shit. Yeah. That nigga's a hood legend. <laughs> He's a hood legend. And what's the, him, Pat, what's the nigga on? Um, he did, because he played Greenleaf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he done turned his life around. Look, right here. Listen, man. Hey, what, and what's the nigga that played on, um, had the Acorn Projects in the back of his head? Remember, because they, they raped old girl in Players Club. What's that nigga name, man? Because any movie... Right. The red nigga, any movie he play in, a nigga hate him. Any movie he play in. Right. Oh, you talk about the nigga who got stomped out in um, Don't Be a Minute. <laughs> don't Be a Minute. Yeah, he, got, he got stomped out in Don't Be a Minute. Do you think that's why he got stomped out in Don't Be a Minute? They knew he a fuck nigga. Oh, he a fuck nigga. Do y'all think that's why he got stomped out in Don't Be a Minute? <laughs> I mean, Whoa, did we just debunk <laughs> some hood shit? Look, 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 Hold on. Look what they did to the man of Greenleaf. How you're passing him. Hold on. He might be on something. Think about that, bro. Do you that's remember the nigga from... Players Club, Junior. Remember they raped Ebony at the party. Mm. Okay, that same nigga mm. was in the set it off. Correct. The brother that got killed because he had the acorn projects in the back of his head. Right. But they threw the party for him. Meanwhile, he in the hood fucking up. So now the girl don't when they let old boy run through the pussy for nothing. Shauna gave up that ass for nothing now. Mm. Her brother died. Maybe that when she ripped the check up. It ain't worth it. <laughs> his name Kevin David, the nigga. The, Man, this nigga here. He his name is 
His name this is, nigga. Yeah, that nigga right there. Yeah, that's him. That's him right there. Nigga Greenleaf. That's him right there. I do not like that bro. Nigga Greenleaf. I don't like bro in real life. Look, he, he, he a pastor in Greenleaf. He shiest it in the motherfucking Greenleaf. Talking about the family that prays together, stays together. Brother on the, uh, the dead man, woman back, man. Uh -huh. This lady a widow. Talking about to all extended family. He's going to put his hand on the back. The family that prays Speaking together. Speaking of family. Batman, um... Uh, fucking dude that played uh his la his name yeah. used to be Batman. Um, Marcus Houston. Marcus Houston. Yeah, go home, Roger. Roger. Batman. Go home. Yeah, that was Batman was another. Oh. No, that was no, that. No, it was Batman. Then it went to Immature. Then it was the other. Shit. No, 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 no. His name, name in the group was named was Batman. Batman. I thought yeah. one of our name was Batman. Yeah. Nigga used to have a haircut like a mod. Remember my green nigga. Oh. Go home, Roger. Yeah. I ain't know a lot. Even growing up, that was probably one of my favorite uh, childhood actors, the little kid that was the brother in you know, all sister, sister. Maybe he was a smart guy and shit like that. Yeah. He's uh, oh, my, Taj yeah, Moore. Yeah, yeah, he's probably Wasn't one of my. Wasn't he that little brother for real? Yeah, that, that was, yeah. Yeah. Was legit, oh, yeah. brother. Yeah. I, ain't know that. I think, you know, growing up, though, just watching him, watching that chemistry on that show, though, you don't have that shit. Like, well, we don't have no more sitcoms on. There's no more. Nah. Nah. It don't work no more because if you try to watch one, I tried to watch uh, Marlon when he tried to do his new sh sitcom. I like, Netflix, it was I like it. I like it. On I like Netflix, it. but on Netflix, if he could just, if he knew it was going straight to Netflix, it wouldn't have been corny like it was going to NBC. Uh -huh. The Carmichael show was dope as fuck. They canceled that Carmichael, the Gerard Carmichael show. It was all right too. Because just... he had to put on NBC. But to know what he was getting off in every if he was episode. Going straight to net, if he knew he was going straight to net. The, the shit he loud. was getting off in those episodes is like, they're talking about this on TV? Oh, my God. It, bro, even, but I'll take it. That show, Modern Family, is probably the best rated show on TV. The shit they talk about. There's the gay couple. There's the Al Bunny has the Puerto Rican wife. Mm -hmm. That show is what they talk about because it is the Modern Family. The Modern Family is two gay men. Modern mm -hmm. Family is an old rich dude with a young Brazilian model like that. It, bro, but what they talk about. Like, when they went to the grocery store, they treated him one way, treated the wife a different mm -hmm. way. Like, Oh, they getting this shit off on ABC. Yeah. Oh, uh, I just like to hear right, right under their nose. They they getting getting uh, That's why 50 Cent finna had a show come on Tuesday on ABC, that life show. Mm -hmm. That look like it's gonna be good. He gonna be getting that shit off. But you know what, though? Do you realize how TV and shit went? It went from it had to be like a cop show, detective show, to now it's gotta be something like the lead actor had to be a black woman when it came with the empire. Or gay. Or gay type shit. Now it's to the criminal justice reform, so let's have the redeemed stories mm -hmm. all the time. All mm -hmm. in the um, that, that gay shit and every every goddamn thing you watch. Listen, they try to mess up with Boosie about what he said about the bubble guppy shit, but he's not wrong. If I if I know it's gay shit and I want my kids to watch it or I'm allowed to watch it and I know it's there, I'm gonna let it play. If I know it's there and I know it, I'm not gonna be surprised. He said he was surprised and thrown off. Hey, That's Bubble Guppy? Yeah. Is gay shit going because on in Bubble the, the Guppy? Bubble, the thing was, the thing said, hey, how are you doing, ma'am? I'm not a ma'am. Oh, sorry, sir. I'm not a sir. What are you? I'm a guppy. You know what they're trying to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not he, a he ain't, he ain't and identifying I tell you, time, either one. The best thing about being a human is love like yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the best thing about being a human is loving yourself. Be your own companion. Right. Love is not between a man and a woman. Love is between me and me. So if you do what you do, but don't make my kids don't see force. this. Don't force Yes, that right. shit everywhere. Like, you know, they trying to put that in public schools now? Gay, yeah, gay, they don't gay, take away gay, sex gay ed. history or some shit in, like that. Yeah, not every gay history. In there. Ain't no motherfucking gay history. Since gay, if that's the truth, they've been gay since the dawn of the day. If and, that's, and if, if, if that's you go back truth, to the Roman days, you see, you can see the fucking pedophile shit. Tell me when that shit started. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, like in the, um, in the, I don't, I don't, I don't know ex exactly what that shit name was, but in the Bible, it was a city and everybody in that shit was gay. Babylon. Some, I don't no, know Babylon exact. I don't know the exact name. Oh. But Babylon is where you spoke Babylon. Spanish, and I spoke English. You spoke Creole. In the Bible, that shit happened, and in the Bible, the whole city burnt down. It burned down in the history. If it was, if it was good, y'all, y'all supposed to be Christians and, and shit. And the thing is, but if you read into it, when, how they debacle that they tell you, well, the the story Bible stories tell you, it was torn down by a king who didn't want people to know that he was also homosexual. And I also That's heard the motherfucker that wrote the Bible was gay. Yeah. King and, James. And was kicked out of his country for revising the Bible in his own story. And people know this goes back to the Viking days. During the Viking days, there was pescatarians who said, no, I don't believe in God. Mm -hmm. this and that because they once did believe in God. So now you're a pescatarian or a prosperitarian. I think it's prosperitarian. Prosperitarian. Pros prosperitarian. So <laughs> I, I don't know because I don't give a fuck about that shit. But I just know I study various nations and things and studying on that shit. It speaks about how they would get the Bible and say, no, we don't need women to think that they were this because they just left Cleopatra ruin the world. And Cleopatra ran the world. Women knew Cleopatra ran the world. And before then, 
they poisoned the Amazonian women when they found the four four foot wide uh, hips and shit of women. They know Amazonian women that were in the world, the best warriors in the world. They poisoned them, probably with herpes and some shit. And, that's, them and that, that, that's the same, in my opinion, that's the same shit that's going on with the Bible today. You feel what I'm saying? They they edited that shit yeah. before they gave it to us. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? The, the Bible that we read as slaves ain't the same Bible uh, that they were uh, reading Dave before. Says, here goes your Disney version co- coming in. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Dick Gregory said that a lot. That, that shit ain't the Because you got to think about that shit. With that slave shit, bro, we couldn't do nothing. Nigga, I couldn't look at your wife if she was white. And you know what's crazy, bro? But I can I, I can, I I can, people, I can read the Bible. All, all, all the time, um, we were beat for speaking a certain language. And that language we used to speak was Swahili. Mm-hmm. The people that were slaves. Everybody was not a slave. Everybody doesn't come from slavery. Everybody doesn't come from Africa. There were over six, 60 million Native American people killed here. Native Americans are the most oppressed people because we literally took a country from these people, literally. And, then, and we said, we ain't do nothing. No, we, <coughs> we didn't, didn't, but Americans did. That's what he did. Well, he, well, his people did, in a way. Yeah. In a way, <laughs> in, in a way my people did. But you got to think, because my mom's side of the family, they come from German Jews, but her, her mom's side of the family are Native Americans mm-hmm. type shit. But they're so down the line that they, my grandma was like, and, that, and I was talking to somebody about this shit the other day about uh, history in schools and shit. You know what I'm saying? They only teach, why do they don't teach you about slavery? Why don't they teach you about the crops? They did, the but they don't really. They don't, they teach, don't, they don't, they teach, don't teach you, teach you what you need. They have a class because shit. it's an extracurricular class. But you got to sign up for it if you yeah. want it. Yeah. That's why I agree with the dude get rid of Black History Month, Black History Year. Yeah. Why don't we talk about it all year? And I, and I put that shit on Facebook yeah. the other day. We don't give a fuck about this short ass yeah. month. This Black History Month. I, I said that too. I was like, dang, I just fuck noticed that's this why is I the think. shortest month and it's Black History Month. And it's an extra day this year. That's when the 29th. I'm going to do some extra nigga shit. Mm-hmm. Fuck mm-hmm. Fuck Taking off. Yeah, fuck word. Extra nigga shit. <laughs> but and even then, that's what I was saying about I want to speak on today too, bro, because they doing the Edison Film, I mean, the Edison Festival Lights. They During our shit. Yeah. Then, Move that shit to November, yeah. December. And then not only that, Where look, what they, is. Look, that, look what they gonna do. They trying to um give Sammy Watkins a little shine. Meanwhile, I feel he should have his own day. And definitely. if we don't do nothing, him and him and we, um, him and um, brother him Jaylen, and brother Jalen. Yeah. And if we don't do the man getting screeched ain't nothing. If we don't do nothing that day, as far as nothing, we should have a hood party for these. Mm-hmm. If we do nothing Full else, fat. but because I don't, I think he should have his own parade instead of. Oh, let's put him in his break. What if he didn't want to say that? Right. Let him have his break. Well, he'd be AFC champion. Exactly. Sam Watkins. Nah, nah, y'all went to the Guardian Church to put in front of y'all new Y'all called his ass a loser then. He lost. He lost the, He lost in the Super Bowl. That'll be the headline. He lost to, in the to Super Jimmy Bowl. Garoppolo, okay, the fuck you. Okay, fuck you. And that's why I think he should have his own separate parade. Mm-hmm. Or even on that day, let's turn up in the lake. I ain't even from the lake. Nigga, I'm willing to turn up in the lake. Big, get big bottles in it. He, he deserves on, it. On, on his face. He deserves it. Well, on their face. You got to celebrate both of them. Yeah, and I don't think that brother going to let no stupid shit go down in the hood. And I pray that don't no niggas do no uh-huh. stupid shit. We just had some crazy shit go on in the hood just the last two weeks, man. We don't need all that extra shit. So fat. that's why we're talking about like the one episode about the Bill Homies talk. Like back in the day, Bill Homies tell you, hey, man, hey, man, this, man, we got Super Bowl yeah. champion. Y'all boy, y'all mm-hmm. chill out today. Matter of fact, oh, man, what y'all, what y'all want? Hollis all day? Let me get the pack up off of them. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, y'all boy, come chill with us for that day. You ain't got that no more. Nah, niggas, it be me. Y'all look fuck ass jits, man. Yeah. Like, fuck our shit up. Like, yeah, y'all just don't come around here. No, yeah. oh, get a legit chance. Uh-huh. Hey, little homie, we doing something today. Y'all want to be a part of inclusion? No, but bro, after we in the 48 Laws of Power, I almost, when I got done reading 48 Laws of Power, bro, I didn't throw up. I was nauseous for almost a day. I was nauseous. Because I when, when you ever read something and then you probably understand it, like mm-hmm. you see it now, you're like, oh, whoa, shit. That, that's big than what I thought. After reading that book, bro, and reading all the inserts about the king and reading all the dumb shit, I thought King Louis just a drink. No, he's actually a king. I was like, oh, shit. Just leaning about that in the, the uh, Niccolo Machiavelli and re- reading the excerpts, reading how inclusive it is and how white people make you feel included in their shit. So yeah. You will go in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's some shit I, I had to talk to somebody about the other day, you feel me? That's why that's why our neighborhood don't look as good as it's supposed to look. Yeah. Because... Like you just said, you want to be included. Once you get some, once you get some decent money, mm-hmm. now you in McGregor. Now you don't move to Kate. Now you, you know what I'm talking about. Like they told Nipsey was stupid for being up for trying to make mm-hmm. his hood look like yeah. something. Now there's people. What if he would have died in Beverly Hills? Mm-hmm. They would have had more yeah. in Beverly Hills. And you feel me, bro? Right. Good thing you feel me, bro. I know, like, and I know how you is about it. Like you really didn't know about shit, but you see mm-hmm. the impact he had on mm-hmm. people after he did. Like he had been had an impact on me as far as like getting shit together mentally while we couldn't manage shit. But how that man did, if he would have died, anyone the man died on Chris on Slauson, he had it tatted on his body. 
bro, if anything, a bitch, that's like a nigga dying in the project. Nigga, I then he got whacked out by this dog. Like, by, man, listen, bro, I never forget when the, when the, seeing the video, the video made me throw up. Mm-hmm. I said, bro, that's hatred. That's Definitely. Hatred. Yeah. Hatred. The man got killed, shot in the head, and then kicked in the head, and shot too many times. That was make sure this nigga dead. That was pure hatred. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But to know that, look what he did for his hood, even in that instance of being killed in his hood. I'm being killed on so I will forever put on that. So now white people from around the world, Japan and shit, yeah. people from around the world are coming to take pictures uh-huh. on Charleston Avenue. He still put on for us. Yeah. Meanwhile, let a nigga home get invaded, robbed or whatever, Sammy get murked on. God, let me let you say Sammy, but a famous nigga get murked over, over here. Bless. Let, let it be Plies, God bless you. Let it be Plies have a house on McGregor. Bitch breaking his house and he get killed, get shot and everything. McGregor's gonna forever have that memorial mm-hmm. instead of Plies got killed in the drive by yeah. the cave. Well, people from around the world will come right to Fort Myers to take a picture right there. Yep. And they still doing it. How long how long they've been there? About a year now. This is my home where I got the picture yeah, out there in Canada. Yeah. They still yeah. going right now. Yeah. They don't they don't bought out all the man merchandise. Which is crazy. But yeah. people like what you would have seen when he was here. Who's to say he might have seen this coming? Because you know when they give that description, not to stay religious too much, but when they give that description of Jesus in the Bible, bronze skin hair, well, I'm like, damn, that nigga died at thirty three, bronze skin hair. Mm-hmm. Well, who was that nigga of Jesus? Was he Jesus? That's what nigga like, well, no, nah, because then that would fuck us up even more when they give you this Bible and give you the description. We learn, <coughs> but then they give you a picture. Oh, here go this nigga I see. This, this is the nigga, this is who we serve. But you said he looked like me. He was around my people. He was in Ethiopia and shit. That's why niggas be like, oh, come to church. Man, Jesus yeah. took church to the pimps and prostitutes. He went to, they called saloons, they were called saloons. They, he, he, say, he, the, he say, come to me and I'm going to teach you something. Yeah, I'm, he went I'm to him. Up if, if, the, if the story of Jesus and everything is correct in that Bible, it's all real. Jesus went to the prostitution house, the saloon, and washed their feet with his hair. If this is all correct. So why the hell am I coming to this church? Mm-hmm. But he talking about the pastor's plate, man. We ain't got the hot water and all this bathroom here, pastor. Ain't no toilet paper in the bathroom. And the way it breaks down, um, people say what they want. David Banner broke down some real shit. David Banner said, um, You'll be given collection plate, you give money to that. Who they gonna put in the bank, that same bank, what floor gonna be the glass house? Mm-hmm. Your grandma. See, that's my problem with church, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't gonna say church, I'm gonna say the, the, the church environment. You got these people in your church. Cause we have a church as we speak right now. Exactly, you, you got these people in your church who barely paying their bills, but you tell them to pay. Twenty, thirty dollars every time they come here. These people can barely pay their bills. As like I used to. Mind you, bro, they passed collection plate around like two, two or three times. times. I went to um, I used, I used to, my, you know, my people grew up. My I, people in the church hard. Yeah. I went to a um, some shit in um, some shit in Atlanta called uh, Mega Fest. Yeah, you Mega Fest is in the, oh, is, in the is in the like Georgia TD Dome. T D Jakes preaching. Yeah. Man, I bullshit you, know, you not, Jake bro. Big preacher. I bullshit you, you not. Like, oh, no. They was walking around with buckets. Yeah. Buckets of money. Who gonna give a hundred dollars? Bitches just throwing it in there. Hundred dollar bills, throwing them in there, throwing See, them in there. They walking around with buckets of money, bro. Because yeah, what is it? So what is it? What is it going to? TD TDJ's walking around this bitch with dog man jeans on. He pulling off in a Phantom. Meanwhile, goddamn Miss Robinson from from goddamn down the street. She um she pulling off in this eighty five station wagon on E. Because she just came here and gave you $100. Now she ain't gonna be able to pay her life. See, that's the next episode. Who are the best street hustlers turned preachers? <laughs> We're gonna get on that. You hear me? Because Eddie Long, we got to be seeing some people ain't know, old enough to know about Eddie Long. Eddie Long was around here rubbing his glad his back, talking about we gonna take care of that house, no. Yeah. Meanwhile, put your son in the boys' choir. Yep. And with boy, I don't know if you're old enough to know about Eddie Long. Oh, you from Atlanta, though. You from Georgia. You know. <laughs> you know boy, it. and no, it was a it was a real big thing. Baby. I know, I know exactly. Because right, I'm saying the white people touch on kids know when we heard about Eddie Long. Long. And see why Eddie Long was Eddie Long. Long. Boys. Hey, spell long, motherfucker. Nasty motherfucker. Hey man, we got another episode coming to y'all next week, man. We promise to be on time, give you full undivided attention, man. This is another episode of Pickle Sausage Chronicles. Kick to my co-host. They're going to give you all their apps and follow us, let you know. What? Deja, you go on Facebook. Get the website. Oh, my shit. Mm-hmm. Bro, I'm going to kick that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Ain't no, no hating ass niggas. Let them get your ass where they can find you. Uh, Jamarcus Balboa. Instagram. Facebook. Milga Scott, I think. Boy, I don't fat. know how to spill that bitch. Yeah. Y'all know how to get me on Instagram. It is I, the fat one, on Facebook. Just get at me, bitch. <laughs> uh, we out of this motherfucker, man.